So, I'm out here on location at Whole Foods and um, as a allergic, allergic reaction to my medication, uh, you know in your body you have good fungus and you have bad fungus. But if your good fungus doesn't move around through your body the way that it's supposed to, or if you get too much, too much, too much good fungus, from what I've been researching, it turns into bad fungus. So, as a result of taking, I don't know if it's my blood pressure medicine or my diabetic medication, it has caused like thrush. Is that what they call it? Thrush, thrush in my throat. And they gave me an antifungal wash. So I swish it around every six hours. This side is starting to clear up. But this side over here is starting to hurt more. So I feel like the antifungal medication is not working fast enough for me. I do not like to be sick. Taking diabetes medication is becoming so much of a hassle in my life. That's how I know I do not need it. I am able to manage my sugar levels without having to take this medicine as much as the doctor would like me to. So, um, like I said before, what I did was cut the medication in half. At night, if my sugar is already really low, like 95 or something like that, I don't even bother with it because I watch my diet throughout the day. And I walk so I keep it keep it pretty low for the most part my sugar does not go over like 121 125 and that's even after I eat because I just I watch what I eat I eat a lot of salads and I walk so um, as a result of this issue that's going on in my throat it is quite painful sometimes um, I'm glad that one side is just hurting right now and not not both but anyways, the point of this video is, um, see, this is why sometimes you just have to be thankful for research because before all of this happened, like two years ago, I used to come over here to this Walmart, I mean, um, this Whole Foods, and I used to get this inner ego to go, okay? And what this is, is this is 100 billion probiotics in coconut water, and it's one good shot. And it gives you all the cultures that you need, you know, in this one shot. It has kefir in it. And so, if you're not familiar with what kefir is, I know a lot of people that are vegan are going to say, uh, kefir, you know, it's, it's K-E-F-I-R. And even the lady in Whole Foods didn't know what it was. I mean, that's a different story. But anyways, um... It's, it's coconut water and it's kefir cultures and it's natural flavors and sweet leaf and stevia okay and it says the average probiotic at time of production inner ego in a living food and exact quantity of probiotic cultures may vary so it's a food product and not a cure for treatment for any medical disorder or disease okay but this it does have 1 billion active cultures in it. It's dairy free. It's sugar free. And it's exactly what I need right now. <laughs> because I am tired of this feeling in my throat. Uh, by. Just by. On a day to day basis. By having this feeling in my throat. It's just the most aggravating feeling. Because it causes soreness. So what it does is. Not this drink but when you a lot of people experience this when they're diabetic but see the thing is is that when I was researching it it was saying that people who have untreated diabetes or people who have out of control sugar levels experience this where I'm neither one I'm neither one so I don't understand why I'm experiencing this but of course I gotta record it and put it in my little diary so this has been going on now for like a week um, after my throat started to swell a little bit in the inside it's it's kind of I hate to get too graphic but what it is is that uh, like I said you have good bacteria in your body fungus and you have bad fungus so it overpopulates in one area of your mouth 
or they say a lot of pregnant women get it uh, babies get it when they breastfeed through their mom sometimes uh, people with diabetes get it um, sometimes people can just uh, develop it because they have too much of that fungus in their body at the time you know again we have good fungus and bad fungus so that's just what I know about it so far and um, I had completely forgot about it because I, I learned about it in high school but I didn't know, you know, some things you never go through until you take certain medications and they cause certain chemical imbalances in your body and that causes the reaction. So side effects vary. So this is one of the side effects that I'm getting. I, I believe this from metformin. I really do. I told you guys I hate this medicine and I don't like it with a passion. But some of the things I experienced when I first took it, I not experience it now. But I'm at the point right now where I'm like, fuck, what is next? You know what I'm saying? And I don't like living like that. I would rather walk around here and not take no medicine and take my chances with just feeling poor if my sugar goes too high or too low. You understand what I'm saying? Because I can control that. I can control what I put in my mouth. But if I take this medicine every day, I don't know what the hell to expect because there's so many things that can happen as far as chemical imbalances in your body. This is how I know this medicine is not for me and I'm not dogging my doctor I went to her I got another appointment and she tried to put me on this Gillette speed or some crap like that it's for diabetes as well it's a pill and when you take it it oh my god the side of the bottle will scare you just enough because it says excuse me it says uh Please inform people that you are taking this medication. Anytime you got to walk around and tell people you taking some medicine, it's, it's not safe. And then when I researched all of the side effects from it, it just I just was like, I'm not taking this. Like I already have metformin in my body and I'm not ta I'm not taking that Galipsy or whatever it is, Galipsy. And uh, I just wasn't interested. So I guess I don't know this is my follow-up I don't know I don't really know too much about you know metformin and all these different medicines but I do know I, I researched it before I took it let's get that clear but you know um, metformin I read all the side effects and stuff on it um, of course it's not going to it'll tell you you know uh, dizziness or something like that and I don't really experience that but it didn't tell me a damn thing about chemical imbalances, re just taking the moleculars and keeping them here and holding them there and making stuff difficult for me. So, man. So, anyways, I went and got my inner ego to go because I used to take this before when I wanted to get my probiotics and get it quickly. It's the quickest way to get it in your system because you take a pill, you know, the pill has to dissolve and blah, 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 blah. And sometimes you don't really get the actual 100 billion actual active cultures. So uh, anybody got any more ideas? Anybody want to discuss it? I am free to discuss it. I don't have a problem with that. But at this point, I'm just like, damn, you know, I finally got used to taking the medicine. Um, even before I started taking the medicine, the very first time I ever checked my sugar level, I was at 120. And when I told my uncle that, he was like, I wouldn't have never started taking that goddamn medicine anyways. Your sugar was at 120 before you ever popped the pill. Then you was good to go in the beginning. Yeah, but I wasn't eating all the way right. Like, I've been eating more healthy these last three years, like I've said in my previous videos. But I was still going to places like uh, Whataburger. And I don't eat beef or pork, but I was getting uh, the Water Chicken Sandwich. And I tried to eat that recently, and it made me so sick. So, I people have been asking me if I'm losing weight the wrong way because I just went to the doctor and I'm down 20 pounds from December now first of all it is possible to lose 20 pounds from December to now we're almost in March we're like one week away from March it is possible um, and sometimes when you lose weight and when you're working out the first 8 to 20 pounds that you could lose could just be damn water you understand what I'm saying but uh, I have completely cut out anything that is bad for me right now at this point. I don't eat bread. I don't eat anything with more than 5 grams of sugar in it. And if it says it has like 5 grams of sugar in it, like say this had 5 grams of sugar in this little thing. What I would do is, is I would open this and I would drink it until 
until like here. <laughs> Every day I will drink it until here, here, here. I don't play around. I don't play around no more. Playtime is over. You know, no chips, nothing like that. I do what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, it had to get to a drastic point in my life for me to do more of what I was supposed to do because. You know, everybody noticed that I changed my diet three years ago. And they was like, oh, we can't invite you nowhere because you can't eat nothing. You know, it's a choice. It's a choice. I, my goal has always been to live a holistic lifestyle. And I have to sneeze. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. So, um, oh, my gosh. So, you know, I just, oh, my God, I'll be talking so long. It's 10 minutes already. But that's, that's my follow-up, you know. Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to appeal to more diabetic followers. And look, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it at all because um, who I, I'm, I'm a versatile type of person. You understand what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter who I appeal to, you know. Uh, as long as we have a positive, you know, community and we respect each other but uh that was my follow-up if you feel like you need some type of quick probiotic you can try this inner ego to go they're at whole food they're 2.99 and um they don't have any sugar in it and it's just one full ounce so you can do that and uh, hopefully that'll help you and i'll come back on here and let you all know if it's helping me i will compare my progress from this mouthwash that they gave me to gargle with every six hours compared to uh, you know the progress with this help here because i believe it's going to help me i got three bottles i'm gonna take one shot every day and see what's gonna happen for the next three days and if i don't see no progress then i'm just going to return to the doctor as soon as my medicine is about up so thank you all for caring and asking how I'm doing and following up with me. I really, really appreciate it. I thought I was on a good road and then this shit here came along. So, OMG, I love y'all and I appreciate everything. It is a really nice day here in Houston. We finally back in the 75, 76s, but it's supposed to be a storm coming. So, peace out.